praise your holy name, Father. I'm coming today to speak to everyone. Because this is a sad time of the year. It really is. We just had Thanksgiving. And now we're coming up on Christmas. Sad time of the year. It's full of joy and hope for many, but for others, and for many others, more than what we even think about, it's a sad time of year. For those that are depressed, that feel like they have nothing left, lonely, my heart goes out to them. And I do have to admit, as for me, I, I really don't celebrate Christmas. Um, one, it, yes, it is a pagan holiday, but one is it had become too commercialized. And then they tried to take out the very name of the one that it's supposed to be celebrating, Jesus Christ and his birthday. We all know it's not his birthday, so uh, pretty well know that it's not his birthday. Uh, I don't know when he was born. As for me, I, I really think that he probably was born in the spring because he was the Lamb of God to be s sacrificed, and that's when the lambing time comes. So to me, in my mind, it would be more appropriate and be born in the springtime at lambing time and that's why the shepherds was out there but besides that it doesn't matter because I know some believe in it and celebrate it and just keep if you do just keep Jesus Yeshua it's supposed to be his birthday so if you're going to celebrate it celebrate it in the in the tradition of Yeshua Jesus Christ but I want you to look around you as you come upon Christmas and you're celebrating it what about your neighbors are there people out there that's hungry? Are there people out there that's alone? Are there elderly out there that no longer has family and that lives alone and becomes depressed and disturbed by this time of the year? And you know, there are many, many, many people that take their own lives during this time of the year because of total depression. It just seems like the holidays just kind of like overwhelms them. And I know everybody's been talking about this young man, William, that took his life. I pray for his family. I, I pr strongly pray for his family. And... I'm not even going to talk about what I believe or don't believe because, you know, the young man is no longer here with us. But his family is. And they're the ones that have to go through the heartbreak and the grief and and all, this, all the things that a person 
has to go through when somebody in their family they lose whether it's a car wreck or whatever but when it comes to taking one's life that anguish and that guilt and that anger is more there because you think where did I fail? Where did I fail? And maybe you didn't fall at all. Maybe you didn't feel that young man at all. Maybe he had so many things in his life and his thoughts that he had to deal with that it drove him to this point. But the family needs help. The son don't need to be condemned. The family needs help. And that's why I normally talk about the things that Elizabeth does a lot, and I know I talk about her a lot. But with her controlling spirit, and that Jezebel spirit, and I, I have come to believe, and many have said it's a Jezebel spirit, and I, I really do believe it. She don't even know it herself. She really don't know that she is walking in the deepest part of sin that a person can walk in. Because she truly believes that she loves Yeshua, Jesus Christ. She truly believes that she serves Him with all of her heart and all of her mind. She truly believes this, whereas she does not because of a lie of Satan that has deceived her, blinded her eyes, and blinded her hearing, that you cannot serve Yeshua, Jesus Christ. You cannot live for Him. You cannot walk in His footstep if you have hate in your heart. And she does for me. That video that I talked about in my other video is stood up on some of their sites. And I guess they can't get around to all of their sites. They, they can't uh, possibly, unless you go over there and flag it. But you know, it's a very hateful, a very mean, and a very vindictive video. But not only that one, she has others up. I mean, Y'all Servant 77 has one up that's horrible about one of our brothers that chooses to forgive them. Um, others have the same video, and others have made videos about him and I just you know I <sighs> Father forgive him but let me tell you there is hope in Yeshua Jesus Christ and when he says to love your enemies and forgive them and pray for them that persecute you that's exactly what Yeshua meant and said we cannot continuously run people down the road and belittle them and talk hate against them and pray curses on them and pray that they go to the lowest pits of hell and be in that holiness of Yeshua. Because if we do, we're not. To everybody else out there, because Elizabeth you don't want to hear anyway so that's fine that's between you and God but I'm talking to everybody else out there that is losing hope losing faith you know I I, I agree with Gert Gert too they could they they could become a very dangerous cult but I'm not afraid of them you know, you tell me to be careful. They could become dangerous. One, they know where I live. They know my address. 
they know exactly where I live because Elizabeth knows and she can tell them they know my phone number so if they want to me, do me harm they know where to come but I have angels surrounding this place at all times protecting me I, I, I believe that and if they come to try to do harm I will be taken care of I really will be taken care of But if somebody found me dead, believe me, it won't be by suicide. I would never take my life. So it would have to be somebody. And I know that as long as my husband's standing, he would fight for me. But it doesn't matter. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid to die. I know where I'm going. And I'm at total peace with it. But don't let these people shake your faith. Those, the ones that are haters, that belittle people, that try to blackmail people, even wanting to get them fired from their jobs. And still, there are some out there that has now turned and said, Oh, Elizabeth loves Yeshua, Jesus Christ. I believe she loves him as best she can. And she thinks she's, he's, she's walking in his light, but I'm sorry to tell you, you are deceived. She is not. we got to do it all in love. All the people out there, even the atheists, how can you win an atheist for Jesus Christ going after them with hate and bitterness and condemning them and praying for their souls in hell? That's not right. And it's not good. I have another brother that said that his faith has been shaken. Please don't let your faith be shaken. Your faith has nothing to do with Elizabeth or Yoke Up or any of those hate mongers. Your faith has nothing to do with it. Your faith is in Jesus Christ the one that was born of a virgin that grew up and was crucified on a cross for your sins, went to hell, took the keys away from Satan himself, come back for you. Don't ever let your faith be shaken by people. They're just human beings, flesh and blood, walking, a lot of them walking in hate and anger and bitterness. And they will be judged for it. I won't judge them. God will judge them. So don't let these people drag you down. Don't let your faith be determined by human beings. Let your faith be determined by Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Do not lose faith because of a human being and their sin. You know, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Some more so than others. But yet, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, forgives us if we ask in repentance. So my brothers and sisters out there, 
that sometimes lose face, like they say the rapture will happen this year in 2011. Well, I know a lot of you don't believe in the rapture, and then there's more, uh, uh, some more of you out there that do, and I happen to be one. You know, Yeshua said himself he did not know the time, day, and hour that only the Father knew. So how, how do you know that it's going to happen this year? Or how do you know it's not going to? But when you try to put a positive statement and people believe it and then they lose hope, they're believing in a man and not in Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the one himself that said, I don't know. And if he don't know, I sure don't know. But I'm talking about faith now. Do not put your faith and your hope and your trust in human beings. They will always let you down. Always let you down. Because somewhere along the way, they're going to sin. And then they're going to have to ask for forgiveness. Just like me. I am just a human being, a messenger of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, saying, do not look at human beings. I can sin. I do sin. I have to get on my knees and I have to repent. Just like you have to repent. Just like you have to come before him when you say something or do something that you might have done it in a fit of anger or just being stupid. I don't know. But we all have to battle this flesh, the desires of this flesh, the desires of the heart. We have to battle it. It's a war going on for our soul. Do not lose faith because of people. Yeshua, Jesus Christ, will never let you down. Never, ever, ever let you down. I just, I, I grieve for people during this time of year when they lose hope, they lose faith, they lose the substance of what the cross and what Yeshua did for us on that cross. I truly grieve. Because my hope is not in human beings, but in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ Himself. He is the one I put my trust in, my hope in, my love in. He's the one I look to in the scriptures, how He walked, how He talked, how He lived, for He is my pattern that I should live by. Every word that come out of his mouth is directed to me how I should live, how I should walk, and how I should speak. Always in love, always in compassion, and always in mercy. For I will be judged by the same mercy and compassion that I show other people. If I cannot show mercy and forgiveness and compassion, then it won't be showed to me. It says so. You need to read the scriptures more. Instead of listening to someone that says, I'm a prophet and I've got the final word. No. Yeshua has the final word. Yeshua has that final word. So don't lose faith. Because faith in man 
is blemished. Faith in Yeshua is perfection. Trusting in Him in all things and in all ways. Father, right now I come to you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm asking for special blessings on everyone that will listen to this video. I'm asking for mercy upon each and every one. And I'm asking for the wisdom of the Rukadesh, the Holy Spirit, to come up on them. That they will not look at human beings for their guides, but they will only look to you, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And Father, I also pray for Ashley right now. And I, I, I pray for this gentleman that asked for prayer for her out of love and out of concern. I pray for both of them. And I pray healing, not only physically, but spiritually. Let that healing power come upon them. Let them know that you are there with them. And that you have your arms around Ashley and hugging her close to you and loving her and protecting her through any health problems she has. And for your glory and for your purpose, I ask for you to heal her. I ask for your love and your mercy to be upon them and to be upon my other brother and my other sisters that you will put joy within their heart and total love forgiveness and blessings in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach I come to you please be blessed and keep your faith in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. You know, He did die for you. He did pay that sin sacrifice for you that you would not have to pay for that sin sacrifice. You are in His hands. Bless.